Woodstock Willie tells us that we should expect an early spring and tomorrow will be February 3rd. <laughs> that was not the case in a 1993 film called Groundhog Day. In the last hour, members of that iconic cast reunited for the first time. CBS 2's Darius Johnson was there for the festivities. He joins us live from Navy Pier. Darius. Hey there, Jim and Marie. I will tell you that the party is still taking place right now. We all know the movie. We all know the cast and they all came together to mark 31 years for the absolute first time since that film was released back in 1993. I can tell you one of the biggest highlights today was many people seeing Bill Murray right here in attendance. As soon as he came out and hopped on that stage behind me, his first words, it's not all that cold. We could all take our shirts off right now, but I will tell you today was really about honoring Harold Ramus to be able to declare this day by the city of Chicago. Now, the Chicago native was the co-writer, actor, and director extraordinaire of the 1993 film Groundhog Day. You may remember Ramus played the neurologist, and many gathered here at the Harry Carey Tavern here at Navy Pier to honor a man who they say was warm, welcoming, calm, funny, and creative. As the cast made their way to the stage, they were all serenaded, taken back to 1993, listening to I've Got You, Babe, commemorating the life of Harold Ramis. Hopefully that doesn't play when you wake up in the morning, nor do you find yourself back here at Navy Pier or at the Cherry Street Inn. Harold's wife, Erica, was also in attendance while beaming with pride on stage as many people spoke wonders about her husband. Here's what Bill Murray had to say. I think it's great that we're here. I think it's nice to have you know, I don't want to be too Irish, but it's very nice of Irish, of Harold to make us a nice mild day for today. You know, he's up there stirring the clouds around and making that low pressure move out <laughs> over to Indiana and just drench and ruin those people's lives over there in Indiana. Now, his wife, Erica, she also read a letter from former President Barack Obama, who says Ramis is someone who kept him entertained throughout his life. After speaking about Ramis, I can tell you that Buster hopped on the stage, knocked at this tree stump with, with, with his cane, and I can tell you our Chicago version of the Groundhog did come out. Unfortunately, that groundhog did predict six more weeks of winter. Not too many people were happy about that. Bill Murray, especially ready to pull out that cane and go to bat with that groundhog. But I can all tell you everything ended with a nice toast. Many of them all sharing a toast to Harold, to the groundhog and world peace, of course. But one thing that I can tell you, there was no sweet vermouth with a twist here on the rocks. None of that was taking place. Jim Marie going to go ahead and send things all back right. to you. <laughs> I'm sure fans loved yeah. it. Thank you, Darius. <laughs>